Hi everybody and welcome to this week's video of RBX Excel videos. This week uh, it's all about dynamic charts. I want to show you two ways of making a dynamic chart which um, the first one is a, a dynamic chart which automatically expands its data when adding data to a table and the second one is uh, a dynamic chart which always shows you for example the last six uh, records of a table. So please enjoy and uh, I hope you learn something from it. Well this week's video is about dynamic charts and um, I made this video on request. I got a question uh, if I could explain in a video how to uh, make a dynamic chart. And what I mean by that, I'm uh, going to show you right now. I have a table here with the month and the turnover uh, for that month. And I can make a simple line chart by uh, selecting my data, click insert and select the line chart. Well, you see the line chart of this table here. And what I can do, I can add the eighth month of 2021. I can uh, add a turnover for that month, but it isn't in my chart because the data for this chart for turnover is C4 to C14. So it's only this part of my table. So when I want my uh, eighth month of 2021 also in my chart I need to add them uh, manually each time by the series values to the, uh, by adjusting the series values well um, how nice would it be when my uh, data what uh, what is added added to the to the table was automatically in my chart uh, so I don't have to manually um, add it to the series values of my chart so I'm going to show you today how to do that so um, first I'm going to delete this chart and this extra data. And to make a dynamic chart, we are going to use a dynamic name. In one of my previous videos, I explained all about the dynamic names. And if it's new for you, I would uh, strongly recommend you to uh, watch my video about dynamic names to understand all of the dynamic names made with the offset and the count A function. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to make a dynamic name for my turnover. And I'm going to um, define a name and it's called turnover. And it refers to, and then my uh, function for the dynamic name is coming in. I start with equal sign offset and I start with my starting cell then a zero and a zero then a count a function for column c and i need to adjust this and um, then a one for the width of my range and now i can check my name if it's all right well it's not all right because uh, i need to um, um, uh, made a correction to my count a function because it also counts the um, headers of my table so i need to correct this by minus one enter and now you see only my data is selected so this is my range for the turnover. Well, I want axis labels also be dynamic. So I need to make a new name and I'm calling it month. And in the same way, equal sign of set, I'm going to make a dynamic name for the month. I'm starting with this cell, a zero and a zero because I'm want to stay in this cell and um, then I use the count a function for column B I need to adjust this to B again we need to correct this one with minus one because it has one header which we don't need to count and a uh, one for the width of my range I can press enter 
I can check and you see this is my dynamic name for my month. Well, what I can do now is just insert a simple line chart with not selecting the data already. And I can right click on it and I can select data. I can add a new series with, uh, with a name. A series name is turnover. I can add the values and this is where the dynamic name comes in. I can type equal sign, uh, a single quotation mark, the name of the sheet where my dynamic name is on, it's on sheet one in this case, and then again a single quotation mark, and then a exclamation mark, and then I can type my dynamic name, which was turnover, I named it. And I can click OK, and I already see my um, chart is getting in shape, and um, now I only need to add the axis labels for the horizontal axis, and I can do that in the same way because I already made a name for the axis labels. I can type equal sign a single quotation mark, the sheet name where my dynamic name is on, again a single quotation mark, an exclamation mark, and I can type the name which was month in this case. I can click OK, again click OK, you see there are some strange letters here, I can just click and press enter in a cell and I see my axis labels are also nice on the horizontal axis. Well, I can show you what a dynamic name does in this chart. I can add the eighth month of 2021. I can add a turnover for that and you will see my chart is automatically adding this new value to its chart. So never, you have never to um, to add it, to add the um, series data for your chart manually. And you can also add another month, the ninth month with a turnover. It's also added a tenth month with a turnover. And your chart is just automatically expanding with the added data in your table. So that um, is a really nice feature um, to save you a lot of time. Well, uh, this is only uh, every month, but I can um, also understand when you have some things uh, you edit every week or even every day or every hour. Uh, and it saves you a lot of time by constantly um, changing your series data and adding new cells to it. This is just automatically added to your chart. Well, there's another thing I want to show you about a dynamic chart, and that's a little bit a different way than we just did. And let's say, for example, you want a chart which only shows the last six months, the most actual six months. So in this case, it would be these six months. And when I add a new line, it needs to show these six months. This is also possible with the dynamic name. And for that, uh, I need to adjust my dynamic name, which I just made for the other uh, dynamic chart. I'm going to the formulas tab, my name manager, and here is the name for the turnover. It's already a dynamic name, I just made it, but we're going to adjust this one. It says uh, equal sign offset, and it starts in cell C4, which is this one. I'm going to adjust that to C3, the most upper cell, which is filled in column C. So. After that, it says um, zero cells down and zero cells to the right. So if this is going too fast for you, the dynamic name, uh, again, I recommend to watch my other video where I um, step by step explain all things about dynamic names in this way. So here we say zero cells down, zero cells to the right. But in this case, I want to go down to the last cell, which is this one. So I replace this zero in a count a function, which is column C. And I'm going to correct that one with minus one because my table has headers. And I'm going zero cells to the right. So that uh, that's right this way. And then I need to move up six cells. So my count a function, 
I'm going to replace that by minus 6. I'm going up. So for that I use the minus. And I want the last 6 months. So I type minus 6. And the width of my range is just one column. So that's already right. Well, I can press enter. And I can click in my function. And you see my dynamic name is now changed to the last 6 values. In my table and I can also adjust this name in the same way again go to well this needs to be B3 uh, I can uh, replace this zero by a count a function again column B and correct that Again, by minus 1, 0 cells to the right, that's true. The count a function, I'm going to replace that again by minus 6, because I'm going up, for that I use the minus, and I want 6 cells up, and the width of my uh, range is 1 column, so that's already good. So I can check it by clicking in my name, my function, and I see the last 6 data uh, month are selected. So, I can close this window now. Well, again, I can insert a simple line chart without selecting the data. I can right click and click select data. I can add my series, and the series name is month of a turnover, I mean. And my series values is again like I also did in the last chart uh, equal sign, single quotation mark. The sheet name, which my dynamic name is on, again single quotation mark and exclamation mark, and then my name, which is turnover in this case. I can click OK, already see the shape of my chart. I can also uh, edit the axis labels, the horizontal axis labels, and for that again I can type equal sign. Uh, single quotation mark, the sheet name where my name is on, which is sheet 1. Again, single quotation mark and an exclamation mark. Then I can type the name I want to use for it, which is month. And now you see my, again, I need to click enter here to get the right years. Um, you see my chart is going from uh, the second month to the seventh month. When I add an eighth month, which has a turnover, you see my chart is moving up one month and it goes from the third month to the eighth month. When I add a ninth month with also a turnover, it moves up one month and it always shows you the most actual six months which is these months in this case so you have a moving chart which moves in time forward when you add your data to your uh, table so this was my video for this week about dynamic charts um, if you also have a request for a video, just let me know, contact me on LinkedIn or just leave a comment on this video. If you like the video, uh, don't uh, forget to give it a like and also to subscribe to see lots more of my videos. Thank you for watching.